You know how we was top of the league at the end of the last episode? Yeah, we're not there anymore. And today's game against Grimsby might be decisive for my future. So, yeah, let's go and get into it. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And oh my gosh, today's game is going to be a big one. We are travelling away to Blundell Park to take on Grimsby in a game where if we don't win, there are strong, strong rumours of my demise. So... We're here on the schedule screen. We're going to get right into it because we have played a lot of games since we've last been together. And, well, when we was last together, we played Wrexham and we beat them 1-0 with that excellent Reese Murphy free kick early on. And it all seemed to be going well, didn't it? Look at those first four games. Three wins, one draw, 10 points from the first four games. I was loving life. I thought, ah, oh, we're going to breeze through this first season. Easy. Get back up to the league and everyone's going to know what an awesome manager I am. Well, not quite. Because after that, we went and played against Halifax. And yeah, didn't get anything out of them. Could not make a, a withdrawal from the Halifax, unfortunately, as we lost three goals to one. Rhys Murphy again scoring just to carry on his good form. He's been one of the few players who have done well while I've been playing offline. After that, we beat Aldershot two goals to nil. Rhys Murphy making it, what, three, goal, three games in a row that he'd scored? Four games even. Yeah, four games in a row, Reese Murphy had scored at this point as we beat Aldershot 2-0. Hello, Curtie, if you're watching. Bet you like that result, didn't you, mate? And then after that, everything came crashing down as we lost three in a row. Lost to Torquay. Joe Lewis getting one. Connor Lemonhay Evans getting the other two. Solihull Moors beat us 2-0. Easley, we lost 1-0 in the 89th minute. I cannot tell you how gutted I was about that result. I was desperately hoping to hold on for a draw, but was not to be. But then, after that, things turned around a little bit. We beat Chesterfield 3-2. We was 3-0 up in that game. They got it back to 3-2 and I was so nervous. But we managed to hold on. We went a lot more defensive just to see the game out. I think fitness and fatigue was a problem in that game. But we did manage to see it through. Then we had a double header against Bath in the FA Cup. It took us two games to beat Bath. What league are they in? They're in the league below in the National League South. So, yeah, maybe shouldn't have taken us that long to beat them. But it did. But we got through. That's all that matters. And then our reward for that was a game away. Oh, no, sorry. At home against Wigan. Which I'm hoping has really helped with the finances. Because, as you can see, we got our biggest crowd of the season at that game. We'll have a look at the finances in a minute. 11,820 people came to that one to see us lose 2-1 to Wigan. Was going to do this game on camera, but I just kind of thought we would get spanked and there wouldn't really be a whole lot to talk about. So, yeah, a better performance than what I was expecting, but still 2-1, we're out of the cup. We can go back to concentrating on the league. And before that Wigan game, we'd lost to Dagenham and Redbridge. We'd lost 2-0 to Dover in the league. That especially was an awful performance. Dover a 23rd in the league and we couldn't beat them. And uh, well, after that, we did get a win because we've changed the formation up. 
Four, three, one, two, narrow. We're now going. And that got us a 1 0 win thanks to a Josh Colson goal. And so that leads us to where we are now. You can probably see it up at the top. We are 15th in the league. We have dropped massively. I mean, like, let's have a look at this on the graph. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> look at that. Up, down, up, down, and then wing, and then boing. Christ. Yeah. Let's hope we can start getting back up a little bit now and we can get a weird, like, W thing going on from there, maybe to about over here. We can start bouncing back up. That would be very nice. So, yeah, 15th in the league. We've only won six games now. Only drawn the one. So we either win or we lose. Yeah. Hopefully we can start improving from today. You can see here the player stats for the league as a whole. Um, Con Callum Gribbin, that's him from Wrexham. He's been doing quite well for the average ratings. You can see nobody for us in any of these, as you would expect. And so let's have a very quick look at how the finances are doing after that game against Wigan. Well, here we are. We are £51,000 in the red. Not exactly great. We've lost thirty-three grand this month alone, even with the Wigan ticket sales. Like you can see that this month we've made 70 grand. Most of that has got to be down to Wigan. Last month we only made 175. And yeah, none of this is great. What's our biggest expenditure? Uh, loan repayments. Yeah. So what's the projection? Projection now is actually looking a little bit better, which I was not expecting. 1.7 million at the end of three years. So, yeah, we might be might be turning that around. But of course, all that is going to be irrelevant if we get sacked. And just to show you that I'm not making it up, here we are. Grimsby fixture, decisive for Taylor. The South End United hierarchy appear to finally be losing patience with me. So, yeah, we need a result. Where are Grimsby in the league? They're eighth. That could be difficult. And guys, by the way, if you're interested in getting this skin, I've got the Prizek, Prizek Pro skin. I'll put a link down below to the guy's Twitter page so you can go over to him. It's about £2.50 for the Pro version of the skin. You can get the basic version off anywhere. Uh, Passion for FM, I'm sure they have it. I'm sure FM Scouts got it. Any of that, any of those good sites, they will have the basic skin. But I love the pro skin. Go and get yourself it. £2.50. You can't go wrong. Like I said, link down below in the description. I really love this skin. And so, yeah. Shall we go and get into the game? I think that we should. So, let's go and see today's team. This is the team for today's game. We've got Arnold in goal, Clements, Hobson, Coulson and White are our back four, all on defend just because we cannot lose this game. A draw might keep me in a job, I'm hoping. So yeah, we're really trying to just close up shop at the back. And then in the middle, we've got Atkinson, Ferguson and a go, go Atkinson as a central midfielder on support. Ferguson as a DLP on support. And a go, go as a BWM on defend. And then up front, we've got Akinola just behind Dolby and Murphy. Please let us get a result today. As you can see, it's only really our defence that have been playing well as of late. In fact, our best keeper... Our best player has been our keeper, Steve Arnold. So, yeah, please let us get something from this. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. I'm going to go hands on hips and I'm going to go go out there and impress me. 
No reaction. Oh, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. Here we go. Here we go. Now some people are reacting. I trust you to make the difference. Make me proud. Keep me in a job, more importantly. And so prediction time. 1-0 us. I'm going to say 1-0 us. Come on, South End, please. First highlight of the game is us with the ball. Atkinson to Clements. Back to Atkinson to Dolby. And Dolby to Clements. We're keeping the ball very nicely here. One of the instructions on my tactic you might have seen is just for much shorter passing. So we can get moves like this going on. And this is quite nice to see if I'm honest. Ferguson, a go-go. Back to Coulson. And if we would like to get forward, that would be nice. As I don't know how many passes this is, I'm going to have to count this in the edit and bring it up. As Akinola goes for the long shot and oh, that was a waste after all that passing. Three and a half minutes in, now it's Grimsby with the ball. McAtee to Coke to Hib Hib Hibner. Revan, Revan with the ball. Come on, let's tackle him. Let's get it back. Nope, Agogo doesn't get it back. McAtee with the header and thankfully that goes wide. Nine minutes in now. Lots of highlights as we're starting this game. As Clements has won the ball back for us. Goes to Ferguson, to Hobson, who back heels it to Coulson. He's showing off a little bit there. And the long pass has gone nowhere. And now Grimsby are coming at us once again. Revan down the left-hand side. Plays it to Coke. Into McAtee. McAtee out wide. He's got space. It's Sears into a moo. Sears again with a cross. Hobson heads. Oh, he tries to head it, but McAtee gets to it. And it goes out over the bar. 35 minutes in now. Sears to Hibner. Sears with the cross, White heads it out, only as far as Clements, but thankfully it is a man in a white shirt. Arnold back to White again. And White, why has he gone long? Oh, oh, actually, you know what? I don't mind him going long, because Murphy is up top and he's got it. Goes back to a go-go, to Murphy, Akinola, Dolby, Atkinson. We need somebody to make a forward run here. Clements into Atkinson. Back to Clements again and we're just being forced back a little bit by the Grimsby press. Ferguson, Clements. Clements with the ball. Ferguson again. Come on, we just need somebody to move a little bit more forward. Atkinson, Akinola, Dolby. Murphy, Akinola's in. Akinola's in and oh, that was terrible. What was that, my man? That is half time. And, well, it's been nervy. It's been a little bit edgy. But there's not been a whole lot of quality from either side, to be honest. As far as the match stats go at this point, Grimsby have had 10 shots with 3 on target. We've had 5 with 2 on target. And we've had 55% of the ball. Just need to start shooting a little bit more. We're going to give it to about the hour mark and then we're going to try and let the chains off and see if that can get us a result. I'm going to go pump my fists once again. We've been the better team here. Uh, no reaction to that outright lie. Okay, well, go with the old George Michael. Got to have faith. And again, no real reaction. Please, please, just let us get a win by hook or by crook, please. Oh, almost an hour gone. It's Grimsby with a corner and their header is cleared off the line. <sighs> Getting nervous now. Oh, oh, but now immediately following that, we've got a corner. And oh, our header. And oh, we've got a penalty. We've got a penalty. <laughs> yes. Oh, and it's going to be Reese Murphy to take it. Oh, come on, please, please, please. Come on, Reese! Come on, Reese! He puts himself, puts the ball down his shoes and the keeper saved it. The keeper saved it. How? Oh, my gosh. Ferguson with a shot and it's gone out for a corner. Oh, this is going to end nil-nil, isn't it, lads? But we now we've got a corner. Come on, Atkinson. He whips it in. Clements with the header and that goes over. 
and it might be time to start making subs. This could be a massive gamble, but we are making three substitutions at once. I know, I know, I know, but I need a win. So we're bringing on uh, Matthew Dennis for Akinola up top. Atkinson and Dolby are off for Nathaniel George and Adedoyin. We're going a bit more positive, a bit more direct passing, and we're going 4 2 4 wide. Please, just one goal. That's all I want for Christmas is one goal. Please, people. Just about 20 minutes left. Grimsby are coming forward now. Bapaga into Revan. Revan back to Coke. Back to Revan, who's now into the box. Coke with the long shot. And Arnold with a great save there. And the ball goes out for a corner. This is going to be Grimsby's eighth of the game. Now, come on, let's just get this away, please. He's crossed it in. Hobson heads it out. And now it's going to be Dennis to pick the ball up. And now, come on, Dennis. He goes all the way back to Clements. And nothing happens. Oh, lots of highlights. Now we've gone a bit more positive. Unfortunately, they all seem to be for Grimsby. Revan to Coke. Back to Papaga. Papaga into Coke. He goes forward and McAtee is out wide. There's nobody in the box yet, though. But now Grimsby are starting to get people in there. Coke with the cross. A Hibner with the header. Hilsner. I've been saying his name wrong all day and he's punished me for it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't have gone 4-2-4. I should have settled for the point. I should have settled for the point. Oh, no. Well, I'm panicking now. I'm seriously panicking. We've got nine minutes left. I'm just going all out attacking pretty much. You can see focus play down the wings, overlapping, early crosses, suit on sight, much more direct passing. Uh, bloody play the ball to the flanks, out of possession, higher and higher. Oh no, 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 no. Five minutes left. Grimsby have got another free kick and it's 2-0. Oh, I have screwed this up. No, it's offside. It's offside. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, my heart can't take this. Oh, my days. Oh, we've got the ball. Arnold goes long. Dennis nods it down to Murphy. To Adoyan. A go goes in space. A go go be my hero. A go go is. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. <sighs> Only a few minutes left, and Grimsby have got a corner. It's Marcel Hilsner to take it. I know your name now. Now you might be the one that means I get sacked. But we've got the ball away again. Dennis, just play it quickly. Why has he gone backwards? No. Why? Nathaniel George. Nathaniel George out wide. He needs to play this ball. Why is he not playing it? Why is he going backwards? Oh, I think these players want me to get sacked. It's Sears. It's Hilsner. Come on, come on. Yes, we've got the ball back. Clements, Hobson, forwards. Forwards, no. That's only gone as far as Towler in a black and white shirt. We're looking for white shirts, not black and white. And now we've got the ball again. Clements to Arnold. Oh, Arnold's giving it away. No. Arnold's been our best player this year. And no. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Is that it? Is this going to be a very, very short series? Oh, no. Oh, I've got a plan B for a new series if I do get sacked. But, oh, I was hoping to carry on with this one. Oh, no. Oh, that's the full-time whistle. It's my fault. I went I went way too attacking. I should have settled for the point. 
Let me know down below. What do you think? Should I have settled for the point? Should should we have gone attacking? What would you have done in this situation? Oh, we've lost 2-0. I'm not even going to go through the match stats because I think that is my last game. Uh, I'm going to go unlucky, boys. They're all motivated. And, that, well, we're just going to wait and see what's going to happen with me. Well, somebody's been sacked, but it's not me. I've survived. How have I survived? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God for that. The man who's been sacked is David Moyes. He always gets sacked on this year's FM. I don't know why. But he's been sacked. I've still got my job. <sighs> wow. Let's go and have a look at the league table and then see where we're going to come back. We're 17th in the league. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So... Well, every game could be my last at the minute. If, where do I want to come back? I think we come back for either Yeovil or Knox County if we're still in a job. If there's still rumours I'm getting sacked after a couple games, we'll come back for whatever game is up then. So, yeah, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I haven't particularly, but I hope you have. And if you have, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM22 content. I'm going to have a special Christmas Day video out, ironically, on Christmas Day. Hope you're looking forward to seeing what that is. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be good, but it is going to be Christmas related. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. Check out the link down below to get your hands on this skin. And yeah, people, I shall see you next time.